Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Virtualverse. Last time we left off, we managed to get this touchpad working inside this electric box, but we're not quite sure what we need to do with it yet. We, we went and got the touchpad from the uh, electronic shop, because he was selling it now, but I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here, because we tried giving him a tattoo from a rival gang, and they don't really seem to care that much. So I'm going to look around for a little bit at the start of this video. A little bit weird, there's going to be a cut at the very beginning, but I don't really want to waste any more time. So we're going to look around a little bit and see if there's anything we can find out about this character maybe that would help us uh, get rid of him. Okay, okay, I think I may have found something. I need information about a group of writers. I forgot this character has this dialogue. Maybe I can ask about the blades. Please tell me about- Yeah, I totally just ignored this before because I didn't know what any of these were. So, the blade. For the most respected crew, they control this part of the city. You only have two choices with them. Pledge allegiance or be owned. Seems like you're talking from personal experience. It's just a matter of common sense. They are the most talented hacker group in the world. Okay, so let me get some information about all of these and see if, like, any of them in particular maybe have, like, some problem with the blade or they're at war or something? Decrypt. Ah, uh, Decrypt. They're the best when it comes to hardware cryptography and are well-known hardware traders. They set up a party to celebrate their anniversary. It's gonna be next week. Titanium. They have almost 2,000 members now. Their goal is to create the largest group ever. No doubt they succeeded in achieving that goal, until almost half of them were arrested for trafficking magnetic storage. I've heard rumors of a warehouse full of old floppy disks, and CRTs that were abandoned after a mag police raid. That sucks. All that old technology. Twisters. They aren't a real group, really. They've done some illegal software smuggling over the past five years, but everyone knows they're into other kinds of shady activities. Do you know any other members? No, but I suggest you stay away from them. So that was Twisters. Onslaught. Back in the day, they used to hack several advanced software security layers. They claimed they were the first group to do something like that. They eventually started smuggling pirated software through the local streets, but it didn't last long. A turf war broke out between them and the Blade. Aha! Interesting. At one point, one of their members was stabbed when things escalated. Even today, there's still bad blood between the two groups, so my idea was correct, but I had to find out which gang it was. Okay, so it's Onslaught. Got it. Onslaught, Onslaught, Onslaught. So, we need to find... the QR code for Onslaught. Which, if I had to guess, knowing my luck, is probably going to be that one that's up in the air. That I can't get to right now. Let's see. Another one's loading Kid Crow, the real cracking addicts. Okay, I don't think this was the one. Another one's loading titanium. Yeah. Man, Onslaught's totally gonna be that one I can't reach, isn't it? Loading something. Uranium crackers. Anytime I hear uranium, it makes me think of that song from Fallout. The blade, yeah. Do the blade one. And then it would make so much sense for that to be the correct one. Delta crew. Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's not the right- okay, never mind. I thought that was the Onslaught one and I couldn't reach it. Loading something. Onslaught. <gasps> there we go. There it is. Um... Okay, so what does that one look like? It's got... I'm probably gonna remember it by this at the bottom. It's got, like, a person without a head, and then a helmet above that. Got it. Person without head, helmet above it. Whew, I'm so happy we're actually making progress. I was just like, huh, that, that chick knew a lot about the gangs, maybe I asked her. Okay, so... Current tattoo in progress changed. So it's got, like... A body down at the bottom, and then, like, a helmet. Like that. Onslaught. I forgot they're actually labeled, so I wouldn't have to look through all of them, but, uh, yeah. Okay, this should work. He should get killed, and then I can take his thing. 
The machine just suddenly changed the tattoo it was making. Yeah, we already know. All right, your tattoo is ready. Perfect. Let's show this to the guy so I can finally join the crew. It's like he doesn't even know what their logo actually is. Like, he doesn't check it or anything. He's just like, whatever, let's go show them. <laughs> what an idiot. Alright, this should be the last time we have to see this. I can't believe I didn't think of that earlier. Like, of course, yeah, the girl that knows a lot about the gangs would be able to uh, give me some information. I just completely forgot I skipped over that dialogue option when I came in earlier. That just goes to show how badly you can screw yourself if you uh, kind of look at something and interact with it before you actually have the needed knowledge to do anything with it. Hey, I'm the new guy. Show me your badge. Show me your tat. What do you think you're doing, punk? Coming here with an onslaught tattoo? Wanna play the wanna play in the lion's den? Go back to your friends and tell them the war is far from over. Oh yep, I got it right. I just got a man killed. Ominous organ music. This was your last battle, though. I just got a man killed. For my own... What was that noise? Oh my god. Someone call the police now. No, don't call the police. I gotta get there and get his, like, badge thingy. Go, 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 go. Let's go. We'll get there before the police will. I can't believe I just killed a guy. Oh, man. First I blackmailed a guy, now I've killed a guy, I also poisoned the guy's food. Dead prospects. Search him. I have a bad feeling about looting a dead man, but I got a life to save. He's holding something in his hands. It's some sort of group symbol with a big R. I'm taking this badge. Okay, anything else I need to see? It's over, bro. Alright, well, out of here. Oh jeez. Shit, the cops. Better get my ass out of here. Yeah, indeed. Especially since we were the last one seen touching him, probably? <laughs> or they'll probably have like some DNA on it or something, unless we're wearing gloves. Central, this is Smith. Do you copy? We have a dead body here. I repeat, we have a dead body here. Send forensics and someone to pick up the corpse. Scum, I'll find you, wherever you are. He's right inside that door there. <laughs> Actually. Okay, so... AVR Graffiti Squad. Squat. Cool. In we go. Now we can get our own tat, that is the Blades tat. Which should be already on here, or do I have to go remember what the Blades tattoo is? Is it already set? Control panel to the tattoo machine. I don't know if that's the Blades tattoo or not. Yeah, I should I should probably just go re-verify just to be safe. Just to be safe. It isn't even that far, and it's pretty easy to see which one is the uh, Blades tattoo. Oh, don't want to look at the QR code. Alright, it is... I think it's this next one? Yeah, down here. Coded with the right device. Okay, so it's like uh, two things and then a tetronimo at the bottom. Cool. Alright, so... I imagine I probably need to set this up before I go in there. So, let's change it. So... Blades. I, yeah, I didn't even need to do this because they're all labeled now. I forgot. So I can just scroll through like this until I see blades. Or the blade. Sorry. Being dis very disrespectful to this gang. There it is. Cool. Now we go back. Alright, in we go. So, let's see if there's no problems whatsoever and we can just get this tattoo super easily and then talk to these characters. I'm sure it'll work perfectly and there will be no problems. 
need to get a tattoo. I'm a new member of the Blade. Here's my badge. The boss sent me here to get one. No problem. Hop aboard. Can't believe I'm actually getting a tattoo for this, just so I can speak to these people. There you go. You're new. You're now part of the one three three seven. So supposed to be elite. Yeah, I already feel like it. Okay. The wire connects the tattoo machine to the outside. Oh, I, I didn't even mean to do that. So now I can talk to you, right? Correct. Hello. What are you guys working on? There's no way to talk to them. They speak in their own crypto language. Only members of the Blade can decipher- Oh, uh, wait, yeah, I still need to go get something special from the, uh, place. What am I doing? Yeah, I still need to go talk to the boss, as it were. And he will be like, here you go, here's the thingy you need. It was some kind of special- Oh yeah, chipset. You need a chipset. Which we can only get from Hill Street. By going into this gang hideout. Alrighty. Go ahead and turn those off. Who's there? Show me your badge and your tat. There you go. Here's my badge. And where's your tattoo? Here it is. Great. Come on in then. What are you looking for? Looking for someone. You're in the wrong place then. Unless your friend is called Trouble. Had enough of it already. Is this a store or something? No, it isn't. It's something that kids like you should avoid entering. So what happens now? Now you're one of us. This is what happens. I've never seen you around, though. Really? <laughs> That's strange. I've been drawing in the squad a lot lately. I don't have time to waste here. Making art is important, but right now we're at war. There's no time for anything else. So what's your role? I take care of the storage area and I manage our cryptocurrency mining systems. And all the rest, of course. Anyway, I guess you need your starter kit. Yes, I, I was told to come here to get it, actually. I'll show you. Got AVR drawing tool. This is your AVR drawing tool. Use it to draw an AVR. Leave our mark on every territory we conquer. Will do. Some colored pins for practice. Solvent is very effective, but be careful. Its vapors are extremely dangerous. Also, it's extremely flammable. Extremely flammable. Okay, that's important to note. Pick up liquid proof protector spray. Even though we're old school, we keep these things around to keep the tradition alive. That's all you need for the moment. Ah, oh, before I forget. You need an AVR mod if you want to talk to the guys. Do you have an implant? No implants here. Of course. I would never mess- whoop. That's a good thing. So have you got a device that can handle AVR? Yes, I have a custom AVR headset. Cool, I can upgrade it for you. Just give me a couple of minutes. Yeah, I forgot, I'm, I'm not advancing dialogue anymore. I got an old EE prom programmer around here that will do the trick. All right, now, you're, you know, now you'll be able to decipher our language. Got a dash now, talk soon. All right. So now we are out of there. A new journal entry has been added. Finally, I'm a member of the Blade. I got my starter kit to decipher their language. Let's go find out if those guys have any info about J. So let us see. It was slums, yeah. We only have three locations and I'm still getting confused. Amazing. Okay. So, in here. And we can talk to both of you now. Let's start with you, I guess, since you're right here. Listen, I understand your language now. I am one of you. Let's talk. I'm Nathan, and I just joined the Blade. Oh no, yet another rookie. I 
Can you guys stop for a moment? We are busy drawing AR AVR graffiti. Can't you see that? We ain't got no time for this. Do you know a girl named Jay? She's a writer too. Just take a look around, I guess. Everyone is a writer these days. Go outside and ask. Now we now get lost. We're busy. Hmm. Perfect. Those dudes still won't talk to me even now. Damn it. Uh try just talking to you, maybe? Okay, so I can talk about the... I can talk about the different gangs. Maybe if I bring up Onslaught? No, 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 that would probably get me killed, right? What was their name? Onslaught? I heard you guys got challenged by the wise guys at the next party. Let's try Pledge Allegiance or Be Owned, right? That's the only way with the blade. Pledge Allegiance or Be Owned, right? That's the only way with the blade. You can say that again. Man, I hate not... There's no middle path, only the best. I hate not being able to advance the dialogue, but I'm really scared of skipping dialogue. I don't know, it, it feels like there's no good middle ground for this. Like, this... I. It takes way too long for the text to advance if I just wait, and I might miss text if I click. I heard you guys got challenged by the wise guys at the next party. We can at least skip this. We are all thrilled to see what they're going to come up with. Only respect for those dudes. Okay, so you like the wise guys. Hmm. I'm still scared to say something about Onslaught. I mean, I don't think this is the kind of game where I would die, but... Decrypt set up a party to celebrate their 100th anniversary. Are you guys coming? So now even rookies are invited to their parties? What a shame. So Swister dudes aren't even a real group, huh? I don't want to talk about them. Better mind your own business. So you're the new guy, right? Have you been into the scene for long? I've never seen you around, but you seem deep into it. What? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, and now you're talking normally all of a sudden? I'm, I'm guessing he said, like, I talked about gangs for a minute, now you're talking normally? Do you think we're gonna waste our time talking in symbols? So what do you want? Shoot. I'm Jay's boyfriend. I'm looking for her. I know she's in trouble. Sure, and you think we're just gonna believe anything you say? Yeah, I can't advance the dialogue. I did it there because I was trying to get back into it and I m immediately missed some. These are weird times to trust a stranger. We're just gonna have to go through at the pace this goes, even if you're a new member of the Blade. Come on, I told you I'm Jay's boyfriend. Listen, you just managed to sneak into our group. Do you... Did you think we wouldn't notice? You know a lot about our scene, but you may very well be a mag cop. No, no, listen to me, I'm Jay's boyfriend. I just imagine the tattoo is sitting there sweating because he's the one that gave him the tattoo. For real, I'm not a goddamn mag cop. Oh yeah? Prove me wrong then. Damn it, I'll show you. Okay, how do I prove you wrong? I'm not a mag cop. 
Ultra Glove of Power. Look here. Nope. Uh. Glasses, hoverboard, credit card. Play save. All the prospect badge. No, why would they care about any of that? I, they already know I snuck in. So... Maybe I use my drawing tool? Or maybe I just draw on the, like, wall. And maybe they'll, then they'll... I don't have any visual art skills. At best, I can try to draw a stick man, but not today. Damn. I thought that would be the solution. Hmm. So I have to convince them I'm not a cop. How do I do that, I wonder? And, well, you, you won't talk to me at all now, right? Please, tell me where Jay is. You're no friend of Jay's. Prove it or get lost. Ooh. Her play safe card. Here. This is Jay's play safe card. She left it in our apartment. Do you, leave, do you believe me now? Okay then. Alright. She's in trouble and I heard about it on the news. I'm looking for her. She's in danger. Yeah, and I'm the one that caused it. Please, listen to me now. News? What? Let me check. Oh shit. Are you telling me you're the asshole from the news? Who almost got Jay busted? God damn it, what were you thinking? I had no idea she was in on all this. I broke my AVR glasses and I had to fix them. Then I had to... Damn, it, it, it's a long story. I'm just trying to find her and understand what's going on. Fuck. This is the lamest thing that's ever happened to this group. We have to go back to HQ and inform the others. Yes, we gotta act fast before it's too late. Something shitty is going on. Wait, where are you going? Where's Jay? You can't just leave me here. Look, we gotta run now. You may be useful. After all, you're part of the Blade now. You'll find Jay at Cubis, a nearby club. She's meeting the Lord of Smugglers there. Lord of Smugglers? Who's that? Yeah, really, that's a, that's a name. I can't tell you any more right now. You can ask that punk outside to take you there. Be quick or be dead. Who's this Lord of Smugglers? Damn, I can't believe it. I had no idea Jay was involved with all these people. You gotta win the prize for worst boyfriend ever, man. Now run. <laughs> Gotta go now. HQ's waiting. He's just like, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are kind of the worst boyfriend ever. Okay, I, I think I'm getting used to just kind of letting the dialogue advance itself. It sucks, but what can you do? I hope these guys could get in touch with Jay, but for safety reasons, she probably can't be reached directly during missions. At least now, I know exactly where she is. I have to get to this Cubist club. Is that some guy out here could take me there? So I'm guessing I can't just go on my bike. Like, I probably have to learn where it is first. And what guy are they talking about? I'm guessing it's the, the bearded dude? Only thing I can think of, because the guy with the car isn't here anymore. So it must be the bearded dude. Yeah, let, let's, let's wait until he walks by. Where are you at, friendo? I need your help. Wait, 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 what? 
Bearded man. Hey. But there's also something over here. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm sure, you just need to my time. Okay, you're. Where are you going? None of your business. I'm looking for someone. We all are. I'm looking for my girlfriend. K. Bye. Okay. Well, I I finally got him to spawn, but I also found out that I can walk over here. I don't think I could walk over here before. One man is painted in red. I think the message is like, I'm not like the others. This is about a rave party that happened some time ago around here. It just says connect. I have no clue what this is about. Free face poster? A cyber metal trio streaming next week. Is there anything here for VR? Ooh, a towel. It's sopping wet, I don't need it. Why not? You never know when you could need a towel, damn it. It's floating. Metal cage. I just want to kind of examine everything around here just in case I'm missing an uh, integral item. Okay, so this must be where we're supposed to find this character that's supposed to take us somewhere. It seems unstable. Water damage water has damaged the pillars a lot. Window shutter? It's closed, but I can't see inside. What a nice view. No wonder the window was left closed. <laughs> Get t-shirt. A lousy t-shirt. It's so dirty it gives me the creeps. Alright, well, I think that's our guy. I thought it was the bearded man since he, like, didn't want anything to do with us before, so... I kind of just assumed he was the one, now that we're in the gang, they would be like, Oh yeah, I'll take you to wherever you need to go, but no, apparently we just had to walk to the right when we couldn't before. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Virtual Verse, and I will see you next time.